majestic, stunning, historic, There are many superlatives that can describe Prague. For us photographers, the best is photogenic. So very photogenic. My name's Jason Rowe. I'm a freelance travel photographer and videographer. Welcome to my photographer's guide to Prague. If you enjoy this video, please consider dropping us a like, or even better, a subscription. Continuing with my guides to great cities to shoot travel images, today we're going to look at Prague. I've visited Prague on a number of occasions to shoot both stills and video, and each time it has left me wanting more. Stay tuned to the end for the best shot that I've ever taken of Prague. Prague is the capital of Czechia and is situated right in the heart of Central Europe. Despite being a capital, it is relatively small, with a population of around 1.4 million. The majority of the photogenic side of Prague is concentrated on and around the banks of the River Vlata in the Old City. The oldest parts of the city date from the 14th century and within its narrow streets are some incredibly beautiful places to photograph. Prague's main airport is Vaclav Havel. It's a modern, efficient and surprisingly quiet airport served by airlines from all over the world. Despite being a modern airport, it is not served by any metro or rail services. There are, however, public buses and some excellent shuttle services that cost around 10 euros to your hotel door. Try to avoid the taxis, especially at the airport and other tourist areas, as they have a notorious reputation for ripping people off. Prague is also very well served by trains from all over Europe. Whilst you may consider going in the midsummer, this is really not the best time. June, July does give the best possibility for sunny days. However, the caveats for photographers are firstly that sunrise is around five in the morning, giving very early starts to the day. With sunsets at 9.30 in the evening, you're looking at very long days. Secondly, it's peak tourist season and Prague is one of Europe's major tourist destinations. Even at sunrise you're going to see numerous people. The first are your peers and fellow photographers making the most of this photogenic city. Whilst it's great to see so many people keen to capture Prague, it's also dispiriting when you're trying to capture those beautiful pre-dawn quiet scenes that make urban images so emotive. It's also often difficult to isolate a scene without a photographer in it. Secondly, and potentially more troublesome, are the drunken revellers returning home. Prague has become Europe's party and stag city, and on any given day there are thousands of young and often exceedingly drunk revellers staggering around the city and potentially staggering into your tripod. The iconic images of Prague are often taken from or of the Charles Bridge. This 14th century structure is a pedestrian bridge in the heart of the city, crossing the River Vlata. Two iconic towers define each end of the bridge, and because of its location and symmetry, it is great for both sunrise and sunset shots. However, at sunset you will be jostling with thousands of tourists on the bridge. For sunrise shots, there's a children's playground on the west side of the river, just to the north. Although it appears locked, it is not, and it's an excellent place to shoot the sun rising and the bridge with the city skyline. It's also possible to shoot on the southern side of the bridge on the riverbank if there are no tour boats moored there. From the east side of the Vlatava, beside one of the towers, you can get some great shots of Mala Strana and the Prague Castle. 
At sunrise, the light is falling on that direction and gives a nice golden look to the red tiled roofs. Whilst at sunset, the sun drops behind the castle for dramatic shots. Another of Prague's iconic locations is Staromeski Nemetski, or Old Town Square. Surrounded by beautiful churches and the massive statue of Jana Husa, this is a wonderful place to get some great shots. There is a caveat here though as well. By 8 o'clock the square is already filling up with tourists and tour guides. This combines to make shooting the square after 8 virtually impossible. Spiralling out of Old Town Square are a labyrinth of old narrow streets, many of which are very photogenic. Again, you'll need to be up early to shoot these without the tourist masses. Prague Castle, nestling on a hill above Malastrana on the west bank of the Vlatava, is another great location. It's best visited in the late afternoon or early evening, as the light will not only be great on the castle itself, but on the panoramic views it affords over the old city of Prague. It's also possible to shoot the sunrise over the city from the terraces in front of the castle. In the castle grounds is the magnificent St Vitus Cathedral. It dominates the skyline of Prague and is equally impressive up close and personal. One great location, and a little off the tourist trail, is Streleski Ostrov. This is an island in the Vlatava River, just south of the main city. It is accessed by the Leji Bridge, and from its northern tip affords great views of the old city, the Charles Bridge and Malastrana and its castle. The light is good all day round for shooting this location, although you will need a long lens to isolate some of the city's features. The only issue at the height of summer is the island does not open until 6am, which is around 50 minutes after the sunrise. So what of my favourite shot of Prague? Well, you've already seen it in video form, but I also shot it as a still. It's this shot of the sun setting behind St Peter's Cathedral. Prague is packed jammed with photogenic locations that can be shot all year round. In the height of summer, the sheer number of tourists will restrict you to shooting the early golden hour or from less busy locations. But overall, the city is a photographer's delight, one that I hope to return to again and again.